Hello now Photoshop, this is Antonio and I'm here to teach you how to make a retro black and white. So this is going to be kind of like what you would expect to see from a picture of the 20s, 30s or maybe 40s too. You know that black and white, very con high contrast um, texturized pictures. Okay, so what we're going to do first is that we're going to take the background layer and we're going to drag it to the new icon, new layer icon. So we can create a copy. And to that copy, we're going to add something called noise. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit just, you, just so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to noise, add some noise. And then what I'm looking for is exactly this. I'm looking for, in this case, 7.16. Um, I'm looking for a noise that is apparent, that you can see it, but it's not destroying the picture. That means if I go all the way over here, like you don't have a picture anymore. And so I need a picture, but I need to see clearly the, um, the noise. So 7 actually works really good. Uh, now, just make sure that you have Gaussian Blur and you have Monochromatic um, selected. So let's go OK on that. And then to the same uh, layer, we're going to go to Filter and Blur, Gaussian Blur. So we're going to kind of like soften out those uh, noises that we just created because we don't want it to be that, 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 you know, sharp. When you're doing something retro, it never, it never, never is sharp. Don't add sharpening. I might add some sharpening sometimes because it, the picture needs it, but I still need my retro to look really soft. That's the whole um, key for a retro picture. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be 0 0.7. We just need to soften it out. We still need to see clearly the noise, but it has to be softened out. Okay, so the next step is that we're going to go to new adjustment layer and we're going to choose uh, black and white. Uh, you're going to see this property window popping out. We don't need it right now, but we're going to definitely use it because um, it's going to add to our uh, effect. So the next step is that we're going to go ahead and add a new adjustment layer. My friend, Selective Color, I am like a big fan of you. I really love you, Selective Color, that you're like my ultimate. Okay, so we're going to work, obviously, with the whites, neutrals, and blacks because we are, you know, dealing with a black and white image and we are only going to play with the black levels in all those color channels black uh, white and neutral uh, the black just means that you're going to be using the whole complete gamma of the color that you are choosing over here so if I'm choosing black and I'm using the black that means that I'm um, completely um, managing the blacks in this case so I'm just going to go down minus something, maybe minus 15, 18 is okay. Uh, what I'm looking is that I just need to kind of like wash down all those black colors in the picture. All that shadow, all that high solid color uh, black in the pictures. Because I want to give it that, you know, wash down kind of like old image effect. Now we're going to go to the new to the neutrals and we're going to add on the all again we're going to be working on the black levels. I'm going to add some uh, neutrals so the picture looks more richer. It looks more contrasty. It has that retro feeling, that retro black and white contrast, you know, rich, richer uh, uh, feel to it. So, but you still have those blacks really washed down. I don't know if you can see it here. But that's exactly what how it should look like. And then we're going to go to the whites and we're going to exaggerate so we're gonna go minus I'm in this case I'm gonna go all the way minus 100 so we can create that high contrast whites that is gonna give you that retro feel and it's, as you can see the um, noise is just helping to that you know old texture um, effect so now we're gonna go back to the black and whites and we are here in the um, uh, window that we were talking about later uh, I mean yeah just a little bit um, just a second ago or something, I don't know. And so we're going to play with all the colors. And what is going to make this is just, we're just going to, because we know that we have a image that is color, you know, on the bottom. So we're going to be um, playing with those colors over there. And in this case, I'm going to be increasing the reds just to make it a little bit more high contrast. And then also I'm going to be increasing the yellows also just to add more to that contrast. Uh, effect 
I'm gonna take down a little bit the reds though so the yellows are more high than the reds um, reds might be like in the uh, skin color and the yellow obviously since we have like a kind of like a brown brownish uh, yellowish um, coat and so I know that I also have some blue in the sky in, in the water so I'm gonna kind of like deep that out and also like this the cyan also maybe I'm gonna deep the cyans and I'm gonna like increase the blues maybe yeah something like that okay so basically you just have to play with all the um, levels that you will have here in the property window for black and white all the colors and you will get different you know effect and that's what it is I hope you like this retro black and white if you really like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I don't know follow me on Instagram if you like to and I hope to see you in the next installment of now for sure